So today we're taking a look at the modded Music Monkey. Uh, this monkey uses the power of music to do damage. And we're bringing it over to space, because that's totally fitting. If my science is correct, I believe uh, sound doesn't travel through space. So realistically, uh, this Music Monkey should be doing no damage on this map. But because this is uh, fiction, it indeed does do damage. And take a look at that. This music, base Music Monkey here is uh, throwing notes down a straight line. Here's in everything in its path. Big shout out to Zulkoix for making this mod. Now I should mention, um, you might notice that I started with a Wall Street and a Central Market and Benjamin. The reason being, I took a look at the prices before starting this and it turns out um, they're pretty pricey. You can even see for the first years already how expensive they are. So yeah, I just need the head start, that's all. So that being said, let's take a look at um, uh, Top Path, I guess. So, first one is Forte, Music Notes deal more damage. Sign me up. Let me throw it on last. It probably does better that way, doesn't it? Yes, indeed. Next up is Fortissimo, Music Notes deal even more damage. Sure, why not, since we have the money to. And then, uh, next up is Snare Drum, attacks balloons with the power of percussion. So I assume this is a uh, melee attack, given that, I don't know, drums don't seem to be something um, that would be associated with range. Now, it's kind of hard to see how much damage those snare drums are doing exactly, because, well, the music mo notes are just destroying everything right now. That's kind of what happens when, you know, I get such a big head start on money and the rounds are a bit too easy. Doesn't see camel, though, so it looks like we have to get camel popping notation. Notes are able to see camel balloons. By the way, yep, this is all three, uh, three pads, five upgrades each, and a paragon. So it's a pretty much fully fleshed out tarot mod for this one. And I suppose since the money is here, I will... I guess I will showcase the Paragon at the end. Assuming we have enough money. And I guess we'll just finish off this cross path. So, a metronome. This one increases attack speed. It looks like the notes actually don't do uh, lead damage, but it is the snare drums that help us... Uh, help us figure that out. So, it looks like the drum set shoots pretty slowly, given that the fact the fact that we're leaking... Um, it's around 36 here. So, uh, I guess I'll just buy the $43,000 upgrade drum set. Notes steal more mob damage and jumps attack even faster. Yep, that helps the uh, reliability. And for the mob, I guess, coming very soon. Yeah. We now got a hypersonic, uh, or rather, Music Monkey is banging on those drums real hard. And thus, that should make for an easy time against this mob, right? Yep. Fairly easy. And yeah, here's what I was saying when I said, uh, I told you this was a very expensive tower for some reason. This thing would be the second most expensive thing in the game, I think. Minus True Sun God, if it was a real thing. So it's, uh, Taiko. Apparently, this is a uh, Japanese percussion instrument. Description, I love Taiko. Now, before I buy this and thus insta-kill the next 50 rounds for us, I think it's probably more balanced if we go ahead and take a look at the other paths first. So, let's just do it in order, middle path. You've already seen Camel Bobby Notation and Metronome. What's this one about? Looks like this one might be a, uh, maybe wind instrument cross pathing. Also, we're leaking heavy to these camos here. Let's buy a clarinet real quick, and uh, hopefully it helps out. So yeah, what does a clarinet do? Uh, music notes now home on balloons. All right, seeking, seeking notes. I see. Um, what's a better cross path for it? This one is lead popping. This one is more damage. I guess I'll just go with the more damage, and you'll see the bottom cross path eventually. And yeah, take a look at this fourth year. It's freaking eighty-six thousand dollars, which again will be the second most expensive tier four in the game, minus the Sun Temple, if it were real. I think before I buy this, and then it ends up in skill in the next 30 or so rounds, I suppose we'll take a look at the bottom half then. So, lead popping. Earworm is a pure upgrade. I see, I see. And then we got the Cat Piano. Music Monkey learns the basic of popping balloons with a basic Cat Piano. Cross pathing. I guess I'll just give it the damage cross path, and I'll just give it Camo Village too, just so it, it's equal with the other ones. That being said, it is pretty hard to see what exactly it's doing, especially when the other two cross pads are in the way. So let me buy a MIDI keyboard first. Music key Monkey now uses the keyboard, or the sound from a MIDI keyboard, to pop balloons. Well, let's check it out, and I might sell one of these things. I think you've already seen enough of the drum set. It's just a hypersonic drums and very fast uh, note shooting. We'll get rid of it and see, uh, you know, the solo with these two, first off. And yeah, here is uh, round 63 with the two Music Monkeys, just throwing all the notes. So it looks like it does enough damage to uh, beat 63 here, so... Looks like we're all good. Also, in case you're wondering, um, no, this mod doesn't include, like, custom sounds. Uh, 
Normally for my BTD6 videos, I don't have the uh, in-game sound that I'm currently using. It's just, you know, a soundtrack with all the BTD tracks put on, uh, you know, random loops. So you won't hear what's uh, going on on my side, but just let you know, there's nothing. <laughs> nothing nothing you're missing out on. And I won't buy it right now, but I guess I'm going to show you what Rush E is. I, I hear this is like the most insane meme song on the internet. So I suppose that justifies its $270,000 price tag, but... Yeah, we're not gonna get that just yet. We're gonna hold off for a bit, and then we'll get saxophone whenever, whenever you know, things get rough. Also, in case this is not enough farming, I'll go for a banana central as well. Yes, we are farming on Mercury, or Venus, I mean. Apparently, that's possible in the Bloons universe. I need all this because, well, considering you can already tell that the prices of each tier 5s are, like, in excess of $200,000, just imagine how expensive the Paragon Monkey will be. Alright, mid-80s. I think it's about time, guys. Let's see what the Snacks one has to offer. Does it just do more damage with this upgrade, or what? Let's take a look. Well, definitely I, see, I can see a difference once buying it, and yeah. It looks like it's shooting high, just hypersonic notes, that Zeke. Not sure how that has to relate, or how that relates to, you know, um, wind instruments. But I don't know, I guess I won't question it further. Let's take a look at the description of Tier 5 while we're uh, just killing here. So the blue and tone we saxophone is $430,000. This is more than price of bringing a dark paragon, man. Description, saxophone is now made of blue and tonium, the most powerful material known to the monkeys. Yes, indeed. I can see why it justifies the uh, very expensive price tag. We'll hold off on that for now. We'll get Rush E whenever it comes next. And yeah, it doesn't really tell us much other than it's Rush E. I'm expecting hella notes to be thrown once I buy uh, this upgrade. Also looks like we're kind of strong with DTs, so maybe I'll bring back the drum set whenever we need it. Yeah, not to backseat mod here, but I feel like it'd be maybe more fitting if, say, the Woodwinds had a utility knockback, or rather blowback, because, you know, wind blowback, they go hand in hand. Maybe drum set could be one that stuns. Maybe this, maybe this one stuns. I haven't tried it out yet. Maybe I'll just buy it. Yeah, screw it. Let's get Tycho first, and let's see what it does. Well, seems like it just says a lot of damage. So I think this mod is just, you know, a tons of damage with the Music Monkey using Power of Notes. And I think the MIDI keyboard will be the one that, you know, spams notes. Although it seems like, you know, the other pads already uh, already shoot a hypersonic notes. So this would just be kind of a, uh, a replica of that. That being said, it looks like we beat 99 easily. How about 100 though? Which one's doing the most damage? Hard to tell. Well, I'm pretty sure it's this guy right here. This giant percussion instrument. Actually, hold that thought. Looks like Tycho uh, is kind of strongly to 103 here. I'm expecting more, I'm expecting more from a $270,000 upgrade. But let's just see if it can beat 103. If not, well, I'll, I'll get a MIDI or I'll get Rush E. Looks like we'll need Rush E soon. Yeah, yeah. you know what? It's uh, The balloons are getting all over the, the, the universe here, this whole system. And let's see if we got it in time. Yes, we did. And here we go. Rush E, ladies and gents. Looks like it shoots notes in all directions. Or rather, it's not coming out from the monkey itself, but it shoots the notes, and then if it lands on something, I think, you know, notes go in every direction. Is that right? Am I seeing things correctly here? Take a look at these EMGs here. Yeah. This is the one that just shoots notes everywhere. And see, each of the notes, they even have a, uh, a similar uh, Rush E pattern on them, if you can look carefully. Pretty satisfying, uh, not gonna lie. Now, we'll finish it off with a Blue Tony saxophone once the money is there, and wow, yeah, we can't, we can barely even afford all this, even with such a giant head start. I guess I probably should have, uh, greeted a little bit harder, shouldn't I? Well, it's never too late. We can always go for Monkey City and uh, Monkey Nomics. Alright, so the two uh, Tier 5 Muse Monkeys looks like they're holding strong, even up to 140 here. Even the F pad is being taken down pretty quickly, as you see. TDT is, yep, pretty simple. But I think it's about time to go for the Blue and Tony Saxophone to see how much faster we can kill these bats here. So, wait for it. Let's get it now, guys. And uh, let's see the damage. Looks like it shoots out blue notes everywhere. And uh, what else does it do? Well, it seems like that's pretty much it, except also does a lot of damage. And yeah. Um, Infinite Ensemble is our Paragon here, guys. A collection of instruments capable of annihilating all the balloons that lay in its path. All it takes is, you know, a measly $1.6 million, so we'll get that in no time, I think. But yeah, we have a beautiful collection of notes here already, guys. I think these uh, three monkeys together can create a 
Very amazing uh, orchestra. Well, guys, it's round 154, and I still don't have enough money for the uh, 1.6 million dollar upgrade yet. And you see, we're kind of struggling, falling behind to uh, all these balloons here. The power of the notes can only keep up so much in free play, especially now that they uh, made free play, you know, pretty damn rough with the scaling past round 150. Well, I guess that's the reason we should go for our homeland first, then. Basically, uh, double the notes, double the power. I mean, after all, more notes equals more sound, and at some point, if you make a sound loud enough, it actually does, uh, does do some damage to, like, to your ears at some point, so I guess it makes sense that it would do some damage to, more damage to the balloons, too. That being said, I'm wondering if I can sell a few towers in order to make it to the 1.6 mil, just sell all the farms. I think I'm pretty close at this point, so, uh, I think we can hold off, at least with the homeland, for the next five rounds or so. Come on, notes. I think after this round, guys, we're pretty darn close. So let me sell. You, 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 and you. And there we go, guys. Want to check it out? Well, here we have it. I wonder what the greed is. It's probably going to be a pretty big one because we've got so many pops on all the, all the music monkeys. 69. Nice. I'll have you know, guys, that I definitely did not plan this. And here we go. We got a super hypnotic pattern coming out right now from this Paragon. I think every time it lands on a balloon or something, or it, it seems to be spiraling really, like, beside the uh, monkey. Not on top of it. I'm also not sure uh, if it's, like, uh, it looks like it shoots out two every uh, 10 seconds or so. Let me just fast forward and show you. Yeah, it's like, uh, wait, no, I saw three that time. I'm not sure what the, uh, maybe, it may have to do with, with if it lands on a balloon. Then it'll shoot in a spiral pattern. Hard to tell, but either way, this 369 is actually... Shredding everything here. No surprise. Yeah, I mean, sheesh. You see, at this point, it actually does shoot out more than two sets per burst, if uh, if that if that's the right word to say. Now the balloons are getting closer and closer to the music monkey, and so it's shooting more of those notes out, just creating more spirals, which, well, helps defend easier, obviously. And the final round, round 200. Can the degree 69 music monkey take it down? Well, considering it destroyed the... Uh, um, uh, first 199 rounds very easily, even with the speed of this bat here. Yeah, holy god, it's a lot of damage, and, uh, there we go. There's the music monkey for ya. Again, thanks Zookoiks for creating this mod, this was certainly a, uh, pretty interesting one, even though, you know, it was mostly just damage. The concept of, you know, music to destroy notes, it's never really something I thought about. And, again, that'll do it. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.